Mera Peak. 6,474 meters, 21,247 feet. The highest trekking peak in Nepal. And the highest elevation that Karak or I had ever climbed. We felt ready, maybe a tad nervous, but excited. Eager to know the unknown places that lay ahead. And grateful to be joined by a veteran climber and guide, our wonderful positive Bai from Bupsa, Dafodi Sherpa. With pre-monsoon weather that arrived earlier than usual, it was a journey that continued to remind us time and time again that expectations do not serve you. And you must take each day as it comes. Enjoy each day for what it is, what the weather will bring, if you'll be able to see the view, how your body will feel, you have to take it day by day. Adjust plans in the moment, take things in stride. Be prepared, but don't worry about what you don't know, what you can't control. Embrace the opportunity to experience the world as it is that very day. For every day is beautiful in its own way. And how cool that you are there to see it in that very moment. The journey started from Kathmandu with a flight to Lukla in Solukhumbu district. Okay. Leaving Lukla, going to... Let's go to Mera Peak, climbing <laughs> all the way. Instead of heading up the more well-trodden trail up to Everest Base Camp, we would head out eastish to make our way up to the peaceful Hinku Valley in Makalubaru National Park. Crazy River Canyon. Wow. <laughs> it would be a seven day trek to Meta Peak, mostly half day hikes on our way up as we gave time to acclimatize. This first day ended in Chutanga at 3,100 meters. <laughs> Going to our room. No, this is a fancy room. Yeah, this makes it fancy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Timur and Kursani Hali Kut Chow Chow. Barkar, I pugyao ani immediately kanchao. On our way to Meta Peak mm -hmm. on the Meta Peak trek. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is day one. This is just a half day. So we flew into Lukla around 1 p.m. and then oh. had some lunch mm -hmm. in Lukla and then we walked up here in about two and a half, three hours. Three it's just hours. like a little over four kilometers, um, mm -hmm. but pretty steep. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah, yeah. we're already here. It's foggy and chilly we're already yeah. in warm hats and jackets yeah it's really quiet here just us uh, and the hotel owner and Dafri our guide we're gonna be going to our both of our highest altitude that we've yeah, so far. ever gone to mm. at 64 70 right, meters right. it's sort of mountaineering mm. but not supposed to be super technical so that'll mm. be something new for us too yeah. so well we're just chilling the rest of the evening have dinner a little bit and yeah that's day one Catch you later, guys. Warm enough? <laughs> yeah, of course. Okay. It's our first day today. So. Uh, snuggle in. The second day would take us up further into the subalpine. <laughs> Passing through small settlements that used to be just yak and sheep herding huts. 
now places for people to stay and have tea. Or I guess take a nap. You've stopped here at Karkateng. We're at 4,000 meters, so not even quite halfway to where we have to go. And the fog seems to be rolling in. We've got to go. The pass is like right there. And then we continued climbing up into the Alpine towards the 4,600 meter pass at Chatrala. We had each recently done other treks at higher altitudes, so it was okay going straight up to the 4,000 plus meters. If you hadn't, you would probably take a few more days to reach this point. Donut and tea in this nice place. Dere mm. <laughs> mm. And then the final descent down into Tuli Karka, known to locals as Chatrabu. Cheers. Cheers. Tuli Karka. Arriving to our destination before midday would become the case for the coming days. I'm used to walking full days on treks, so having hours to just sit around the tea house was a bit of a challenge, but it was good to be bored, good to just be, to sit, think, read, drink lots of tea, be grateful for the warm shelter, oh, and thankfully I brought crosswords. Kadak had his own afternoon agenda. Fog had quickly engulfed the morning blue sky as we started the long journey down to the Hinku River. This is Mr. Mr. Day. Yeah. Shrouded in Kuhiro. We worked our way down to the rhododendron forests. So many shapes, sizes, and colors of rhododendron. In fact, 25 of Nepal's 30 varieties of rhododendron can be found in Makalu Badun National Park. Well, I'm going to have some soup. Oh, okay. A little soup with egg in it. Mm -hmm. What do you want? Um... And then we finally arrived at the Hinku River and the Hinku Valley. And began working our way north alongside the river. Until we reached the village of Kote. Ooh. Nice, huh? To live, yeah. <gasps> nice. Oh, oh my. Ooh, look at that view. Okay, nice. time for some hot showers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'm... Just got our day three shower in. Hot shower. I won't talk about showers too much this time. <laughs> and now we're gonna go get some lunch. Another short day, so we have uh, the we have the entire afternoon just to hang out. And it's foggy around, so not much to do outside anyway. Uh, so let's go get some lunch. As we sat quiet and restful within the warmth of the lodge, the fog held the world outside in a cool calm.
Well, it is most definitely raining. So we have half an hour or so before we leave. Hopefully it stops. It's a light rain. So we will see how that is. Coffee time. Good morning. Black coffee. Chin, chin, chin. Cheers. Cheers. To a rainy day. And just as the rain was turning to snow, we reached Tagnak. Wow. Lunchtime. Noodle soup? Yep. The tea house this evening was much more lively, a kind of beautiful thing on treks to be brought together with people from all different corners of the world, all under one roof, all following the same trail. The bustle and warmth buzzing inside as the night falls in its everyday rhythm. Time for bed. There's a beautiful mountains all around you. <laughs> the unexpected sunshine and blue skies the next morning enlivened everyone's spirits. Yay, sunny day. Sunny day Makes sunny such a difference. Day, Saturday, sunny day. Don't you feel the joy in your heart? Because it's so sunny. <laughs> <laughs> I feel it. Look at that. The mountains bring out the best in you. But once again, the fog was overly eager to join us. No. We just raised curry and then having tea. Mm, yes. We are at an altitude of around 5,000 meters. Mm. Lunch time. <laughs> you look so cold. <laughs> uh, mm. We got time on our side. We're in a state of hope. I need you on my fire. I want you to know that every time. I can find my way. We got came in super quickly. So we're gonna go back down. Back in our corner of the <laughs> dining hall in the guest house as it once again is snowing outside. Relaxing yet again for the rest of the day.
Oh, good morning. Another pretty <sighs> foggy day, but it's starting to clear a little bit. But this is our rest day, so we're sticking around here, getting our gear, training a little, doing a little hike up, um, but mostly just hanging around. Yeah, I would say. The weather may not have been perfect, but the play of clouds in the mountains can be just magical. And obscured views can often offer you a shift of perspective, space for your attention to notice some of the smaller things around you. And then it was time to get our climbing gear and do a little training. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dafuri taught us how we would get down the mountain if need be on a fixed rope. Oh, and how we would use a zoomer to get up a fixed line. Gotta stay here for some time. Good training? Yeah. Thanks to the instructor. Yes, yes, great instructor. Later, we found our way to the warm sunroom of the nearby Mera Refuge Lodge, and we're delighted to find a real cappuccino. Fancy, fancy cappuccino. Time has gone and I grew up. It got snowy again, but then the skies opened. So I took a little stroll to the nearby lakes. And I still wonder where you are, and if you found a way out. Did you see? Pre-high camp meal. Okay. Cheers. Good morning. Cheers. We're going morning. to Kai Camp. Hi, Camp. Uh, weather's. I think it's okay. starting to clear. I think it's yeah. starting to clear. <laughs> A porter who was already going up to High Camp would help us carry our climbing gear. All right, here we go. Leaving Kare. High camp, Johnny. It isn't a long distance to high camp, but you're gaining about 800 meters in elevation. My way. Going pretty okay so far. We're just slowly making our way uphill, and now we're about to go climbing to the top of this. A little nervous, but I think once the crampons are on, it'll feel very secure. So here we go. Snow boots. It was a long, continuous climb up, and the boots heavy on our feet. Slow and steady, we walked. Then the world became a white canvas with no horizon. It was a bit disorienting. Hi. Then we finally reached high camp. Welcome to high camp. Wow, look at that. Nice. Welcome to High Camp, my High Camp. Ooh, it's beautiful. Look at the view. Ooh, in our tent. Ooh. <laughs> it's warm in here. <sighs> Made it to High Camp. High Camp, in our tent. man. High Camp. 5,700? Uh, around here. Meters. And as you come to the tent, you are served with a big thermos of you know, tea. 
and then the cookies. Yeah, we still have our nice. packed lunch as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, packed lunch. Oh my god, look at those. Oh, tuna sandwich. This is luxury. Mmm, yum. <laughs> and then we realized we were pretty tired. So we spent the remainder of the afternoon just lounging and resting in the tent as it continued to snow outside. Time for dinner. Ooh, ooh, hi, namaste. 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 Making water. Honey banoni. How's it? Banoni. Have the whole high camp to ourselves. Just us four today. Hi. <sighs> Almost time for bed? Yeah. <sighs> okay, come in. What is that called? Us and our creepy red glow of the tent. <sighs> Dinner? Yeah, our cook who came all the way from Kare cooked us real dal vat targari at this altitude and it was amazing yeah it was super thank tasty. you to our cook yeah and he's super positive and, and friendly and our guide Dafuri. yeah who also is always awesome. very positive and mm. smiling and awesome yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, but we're about ready to go to or try to go to sleep it's like close to 6pm but we're going to be waking up at 1.30am to uh, yeah. have breakfast and then get ready and then go by go by 2.30 feel a bit mixed feelings because of the weather it's you know, we came here, we expected this is supposed to be like a beautiful view. You can see Everest from here and all these other mountains. And we just can't see anything. And it's so hard not to be disappointed and be like, oh man, we should have left yesterday. Like, we should have waited for tomorrow. Like, we're so unlucky. And it's so hard to not go down that rabbit hole. And then, I don't know, I keep being like, no, it's fine. Like, this is the natural environment of here. And we get to see it as in its natural <laughs> state. Um, and. And like you said, it's still an achievement. We've made it up here. This is the highest altitude we've ever been. Oh, yeah. We're, yeah, we're sleeping here at nearly 5,800 meters. Right. I mean, as long as the weather is good enough that we can get to the summit tomorrow, even if we don't have yeah, yeah. We'll perfect try. views. We'll yeah, we'll best. try. And we are the only people here. You know? And we're the only people in this game, which uh, is kind of crazy. <laughs> did they look at the forecast or something? They must have, yeah. Well, we you did didn't too. Let me check the forecast. <laughs> See, we were like happy. We we're like, okay, well, let's stay that's positive. Okay, okay, and then you okay. go back down the rabbit hole of being like, oh man, we messed up. It's your fault. It's my fault. So you just have to just be like, that's how life is, right? You don't uh, yeah. always get a perfect scenario. We're here. We're healthy still. Well, maybe a little uh, bit of a headache. But <laughs> um, mm. yep, yeah, we'll take tomorrow as it comes and we'll stay positive. That's the life lesson. Yeah, bye bye for now. All right, good night. It's 1.30. Ready to go. Pouch leave. Mm. Yeah, okay, cool. mm. Mm -hmm. How's it like it? Where are you asleep? <laughs> oh my god, man. How are you feeling? A little scared. Look at this but view. Good. It's amazing, yeah. The view is it's to die for. Her. And after an arduous climb, we made it to the summit. Then, just like that, we began our return journey down from Mera Peak. 
Grateful, relieved, happy, sun warming our faces and oxygen filling our lungs. Back into the clouds. Back into the clouds. Returning back from Mera Peak. About to reach high camp. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Looks like people are hanging out. Hello. Oh, namaste. <laughs> Happy to be back. Oh yeah. Oh, this minty is amazing. And yes, happy to be back. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Hello, welcome back. Welcome back. To Kare. Takai la yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots of downhill rock climbing. <sighs> and Tagnak. For an extra long day. Back to the oxygen lodge. What a day. What a day, what a day. <laughs> oh my God. We ascended 700 meters and then descended like 2,000 Over to meters. the, yeah, a lot. It's a at long three, day, 12 hours a day. When you start at 3 a.m. then you still arrive by 3 p.m. That's, all right, time to relax. Needless to say, we rested very well the rest of the day. Yeah! Beautiful Pancakes and eggs. Even as we retraced our steps on the same trail, it felt like a whole new place in the sunny weather. I love the simplicity of trekking. It never ceases to make me feel so full and happy and de-stressed. Your only mission for the day, your only task, is to get up and walk and make it to your next destination. No big decisions to be made aside from maybe what you'll eat for your next meal. You get to move, be active, all while passing through some of the most beautiful places. Days out in nature, traversing through new and interesting landscapes, meeting people along the way, space and time to think and observe. Sure, there are moments when you feel tired, but it's always a rewarding tired and a challenge I feel excited for every day of the trek. Keeps me coming back, that's for sure. Back to Kote and the very friendly Dai and Baini from Sikkim who run the Lama guest house. Oh, namaste, namaste. Kekani. I need to swallow. Oh. Time for a much needed cleansing for Kalak before tea and lunch. Is it after your shower? Your half shower? Many days, no shower. <laughs> it's 
Beautiful. And then the rain came. It's been up, up, up. And I don't know how much further to go. You guys are just behind me. So hopefully we're there soon. It's a little cold. An exhausting day. Ah. A lot of uphill. Long but very nice walk. And it rained quite a lot. When in doubt, take your jacket out. Don't get wet in the cold. <laughs> Lesson, Lesson learned. learned. We're ready to be there and be warm because the sweet people already started the fire for us. There's the bunny. We loved the warm atmosphere of the Lama guest house in Tulikarka with the most amazing, lovely bainis. Mm -hmm. Bye bye, Nanivat. Bye bye. Very good, Anna. And then we began our last day of trekking. Made it to the pass with the Bainiko hut. Favorite Bainiko hut. Yay! <laughs> And then our last few steps, and we were back in Lukwa, where it all began. We said our goodbyes to Dafari as he continued on to his home village of Bubsa. And we wandered the rainy streets of Lukla a bit before heading back to the guest house for a little rest and celebration. Two minute walk to the airport. Hey, little guy. Will we fly today? Yes, of course. We're well, already okay. here at the airport. So. Uh, we want to come to Kathmandu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The anxiety in the airport was palpable as everyone was super nervous to get their ticket back to Kathmandu. Somehow we managed, and soon our flight arrived. The journey ended right back where we started, but... We happened to arrive back in Kathmandu on election day, so there's no transport except for random shuttles, so we're having the trekking journey across Kathmandu back to Lazimpat. It'll be fun, no cars on the road, so very unique opportunity to walk in Kathmandu. So the final steps of this adventure might not have been amongst the trees, fresh air, or views of the Himalayas, but like every part of the journey before, and for hopefully all that follow, we must remember to take things as they come, find beauty in every moment, and enjoy whatever the path is that lay ahead. Yeah, Merapi! <laughs>